Hey everyone, today we're checking out some of the best new UX UI design tools. Some of these design tools recently went viral. So let's check them out. All right, so the first one is Lottie Creator by my favorite Lottie Files. Now this is a full-fledged tool that allows you to create Lottie animations for your UI design, graphic design, whatever it is. And it uses the popular keyframe mechanism that you might see in advanced level tools like After Effects. The cool thing is they have a lot of predefined animations that you can just pick and drop into any illustration you like. So if you have an illustration in mind, you want to animate it quickly and you want a lot of control, a lot of access, you want predefined elements also, this tool is amazing. The really cool thing is that it's web-based, so you don't have to download anything. Now the Lottie Files team told me that they'll be introducing a lot more features into this. So this is basically the first iteration, but it's still looking really good. Now this next one broke the internet. It's called Project Sora by OpenAI. And the crazy thing is it uses the same chat GPT like prompts, but builds videos from those prompts. Tell me in the comments if you think these are, these feel like these are real videos create shot by real people. Stitching together a bunch of images that it creates and it creates a video out of this. Another cool feature of Sora will be you can upload a video and you can ask Sora to edit the video for you. So if there's a scene, you can add objects into that scene. If there's a scene you want to make it in a certain style, it will change it to that certain style. There's a huge debate that such tools can replace video editors. And I just hope the government brings new regulations so that people don't start losing their jobs because of such tools. This tool has not been made public. So it's still in under development. They're trying to make sure that it's safe. No adult content can be made with this. However, you can read their technical report on their their website you can see what's going on behind the scenes and you can even read in detail how this really works if you're a tech geek like me all right so this next one actually made today's video possible AppSumo is a platform for designers developers business owners out there this platform can save you thousands of dollars for your design tools for your marketing for content for emails every tool that you can imagine now the cool thing about this platform is that it's pay once not monthly platform. So instead of paying subscription like you do for some design tools, you will be paying one-time fees for whatever design tools you want. Not only design tools, they have a bunch of courses. One that really caught my eye was the No Code MBA, which is an entire lifetime deal to build AI apps, marketplaces, websites, automations, and more. I keep on teaching a lot of No Code tools on this platform. So I think this will be really relevant for you guys. Literally 54% off from the final price. You have Zenframe, which is a popular wire framing tool which is super useful if you're looking for a wireframing tool or you can get something like guide jar which is which create helps you create product demos for your designs or for your website etc so if you want to show people how your products work how your designs work etc you can use guide jar again instead of paying 200 something dollars it's a one-time plan for only 49 dollars one thing i actually noticed on this website was 60 day money back guarantee so if you try a tool and you don't like the tool anymore. And if you're under the refund policy, you will get a full refund if you do not like the tool. Imagine paying for a tool, not liking it, getting a full refund, no questions asked. Designers, course makers, business people, everyone can benefit from this one website. Imagine paying once and forgetting about it for life. All the UI designers and Figma lovers out there, this next one is really important for everyone. Please don't miss this. This is called the Figma config. This is the yearly event that happens both online and offline. But if you're in any other country, you can still get a free ticket today. What is it all about? 75 plus speakers. There'll be 50 plus free sessions for people attending virtually. And if you're going there in person, there are 8,000 attendees who will be there. So you can network a lot with a lot of people. Now we'll also get to see a lot of new features in Figma or the future of Figma at this event, just like we did last year. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna make a separate video just on that. So make sure you have already subscribed to the channel. So since we're talking about Figma, let's talk about its biggest competitor right now, PenPot. PenPot is a free and open source platform, much like Figma, which makes their entire code, their entire tool, 
open to the public. This tool has a lot of cool features that even Figma does not have. And recently it has announced Penpoint 2.0 where they have shown a bunch of updates coming to it, including live code preview for any design change that you're making. So there'll be a natural sync between the code and the design. You'll be able to instantly swap between components so if you don't like a component anymore, you can swap it with another component, replace it essentially. So that's a really cool feature. Okay, I found this tool by mistake. I was just scrolling through the internet. This is called Ideator Powered by AI. This little website can do a lot of stuff. For example, it can help you in making iterations for a design. So you can ask it to create a certain feature, for example, a image gallery. And it will instruct you on how to create different kinds of image galleries. So as you can see, transition effects between images for a smoother viewing experience, nice. Thumbnail preview for quick navigation through the gallery, pretty good. Dynamic resizing of images based on screen size for optimal viewing. So it's giving you a bunch of tips on how you can execute it in different ways. Also, what if you can do the standard sticky note exercise that you do with UX. Here, it also gives you flexibility to choose whether it should be more traditional, it should be very innovative or a wild new idea. So you can choose based on your preference. There's of course everything from user flows to point of view exercises, features, scenarios and constraints. Everything you can think of in the UX design spectrum is covered and it's actually pretty good. This was designed by a set of people called AIverse.design. You can see how an AI tool can function if you're working on a AI design yourself, then you can take a lot of inspiration from these guys. Okay, so this one was going semi-viral on Twitter, LinkedIn, everyone was sharing this. It's called drams.framer.website. Diderams design elements have been used to inspire this Framer library which you can actually use inside your Framer websites too. So you have these really realistic looking buttons. By the way, with sound, you might be, not be able to hear this. It almost feels surreal. The animations, the timing, everything is so nice and smooth. Honestly, very satisfying. Try this out. Maybe you can utilize one of these and add a lot of flair, animation and interaction to your websites. I always like to share. I always like to share new illustrations, resources, stuff like that. For this month, we have the abstract 3D icon by Arthur Design. And he's designed these bunch of really cool abstract shapes, all for free, by the way, in almost this nice glassy texture, which of course you guys know glass has always been trending and it's 3D. Okay, this next one is super impressive. It's called Mockapus. It takes any of your images, UI designs, graphics, anything, adds it to super well-made 3D elements like this. It allows you to edit the backgrounds, the lighting, everything and it allows you to animate this in 3D mockups. iPhones, Apple Watches, T-shirts, everything that you can add animated mockups to. Give this a try, it's super easy to use. I tried it once or twice and I got the hang of it too. Okay, another Figma related news. Algo, a company which focuses on AI based video is what I can define it as has taken out this video on Twitter, which went super viral, which allows you to just pick up a frame in Figma, put it in their plugin that they're developing currently and using AI, it automatically adds animations, sounds, etc., to your UI designs. So if you want to present your UI designs in a unique way, AI can do that for you right now. 